Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to remove the category from the Magento URLs. That's right. And the best way of explaining this is to show you and we'll catch up with you in Magento in just a few moments time. OK, Dave, I've been a jumped over to our Magento website and in the URL, can you see that we've got fashion in the top? OK, now ignore setup because we've been installed Magento into a subfolder called setup. So we can't do anything about that. But we do have fashion and then our product title or our product URL. Now, the thing is, is that the more categories which you go down and especially with some more complex categories. So, again, we don't have that many exciting categories on our own Magento website because it's only a test website. But with that said, is that if we go and grab, oh, there's some more test products which we've got on here. If you watch the URL, can you see it's now this one's got men's in there. Now, from like a personal point of view, number one, this is fine. OK, and the reason why it's fine is because we're going to show you some settings in the background, you know, a few moments time to make sure it's fine. It was so that you don't cause duplicates for Google. But with that said, it's not as nice as what it could be. It would be better if we didn't have the category path in the URL and we only just went to the product URL. Again, it looks nicer for customers. It's a shorter link and it just looks better. Personal preference. and I'm sure it's probably the same for you as well. Now, with that said, to go and change this in Magento is really straightforward. So we're going to point out one additional setting for you, which you'll definitely want to have enabled. So let's go across to our Magento administration area and please do follow us along in your system as well. And then go to system and then click on configuration at the bottom. Now, this is where we've got all our Magento configuration settings and the section we're after is called catalog down here on the left hand side. So I'm just going to pause and highlight this on your screen for you. So where it says catalog and then you've got catalog repeated underneath there, click on to catalog. Now the section which we're after is already expanded on here, but if you look down this list here, you'll want to click on the row which says search engine optimizations. Expand that out and I'm just gonna move the screen down for you so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on here. And you'll see this option here. It says use categories path for product URLs. And we're going to go and set that to no. Now, before you go off and press save, it is worth pointing out that Magento does need to be re-indexed once you've been and saved these changes so that the URLs do get updated. So with that said, I'm just going to point out one other section on here or two more settings. So I'm going to highlight these on your screen for you. So where it says use canonical link meta tag for categories, you'll definitely want to set that to yes. And the same for the meta tag for products as well. And again, Dave, that limits duplicates appearing in Google. You can imagine that with that product, which we had a few moments ago, we found it in the men's category and we could have found it in the women's category just because we put that product into two categories. That would have caused a duplicate for Google. But by having the canonical links or the meta links in, that will tell Google to only use one of those, the defaults. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. So we've been in turn our categories path for product URLs to no. And down here, we've been and got used canonical link for meta tag for categories and products both set to yes. We're now going to go and press save config at the top. That will take a few moments to go through. That's perfectly normal. And Dave, can you see at the top, it's telling us that one or more of our indexes are not up to date. Yep. And the reason why it's not up to date is because the old URLs had men and women's in there. And we need to re-index Magento to tell it that it's okay or it should be only having the URLs without the categories in there. And a little note there is that long term that will cut down the number of URLs which Magento is having to re-index within that index in there because it's only doing the product URLs. It's not having to create redirects or pseudo links for all the different categories which that product then appears in. So there's two ways you can get into index management. You can either click the orange link at the top, which says index management, or you can get to that from the system and then index management option from that menu. And Dave, can you see it says index required? Yeah, it's a big red one. It's a big red one. On the right hand side, go and click on re-index data. Now, don't panic. This will take a few minutes to go through. So while me and Dave are here talking, this may or may not complete while we're recording this tutorial for you. 
if this times out, okay, because you have a lot, and I mean probably quite a lot of products on your Magento website, then you're going to want to set up Magento to be re-indexed automatically using a cron script or we'll set your magenta website via cron for this to be re-indexed okay it's very simple to do and we've got separate tutorials to show you how to do this over understandany.com now hopefully dave this is going to finish in just a moment's time and we'll jump across to our website and see what's happening there in a few moments time there we go that's been and finished ace so let's go back to our magento website i'm going to go and hit reload and we should now see ah dave we've dropped men's from the top url we had men's there before i've just refreshed it and it's gone let's go into the fashion category wait for that to load up a second there we go let's go and choose those snazzy trousers <laughs> that's a test product and a half and there we go dave we don't have the fashion in the url again personal opinion you're probably the same thinking as myself, which is that is much nicer to read rather than having one or more categories showing in your URLs for your customers. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge how to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.